Good morning and happy Monday. So today it's a reminder that people are not always going to get you and that is okay. If you're doing the core challenge with me, part of the core challenge was cutting out sugar and everything and watching what you eat. It's not going on a diet. There's a difference. Diet to fail. It's a way of life in changing the way you see your food and how you go to on your triggers. So if that's what the difference is. So it's not a matter of having to be 100% all the time, but it's a matter of watching where you are and making smart decisions. Getting in the protein you need, getting in the carbs you need, but make sure they are the complex. They're the good carbs. Getting in the right fats, not a bag of chips, no, 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 no. Now, that doesn't mean you can never have chips. It just means you've got to watch what you eat in moderation. For the junky junk. Right now, for the challenge, avoiding that because of the added salt is going to make you bloat and everything too. So, that was one thing to kind of think of. So, when you're starting on changing, I know when I first started getting into the fitness, more so and watching what I eat and really I mean I was really strict on my meal planning and stuff and what I would eat that my husband would just roll his eyes when we would go out to eat and I would order, order my food now he's used to it but it would just be you know no cheese no croutons just vinegar for salads type stuff uh, do not put butter on the broccoli you have to specify because what they do in that kitchen if you go out to eat yeah not always what you should be eating but then again, if you've been going, if you're having a refuel and you're just going out and you're not worrying about it, then that's okay too. But you just got to get your balance because you can't eat like that all the time. One thing for sure, as you're getting older, like me, yeah, just getting older, we have certain things that we have to have more of and less of other things. So protein is essential and it's something that people lack on as they're getting older, but it's very essential. As you get older, once you hit the age 40 and up, your muscles start to deteriorate. You have to fight that battle or you're going to just let it go. I chose not to let it go. <laughs> so you've got to choose where you are and what you want to do. So in that one today, today is don't worry so much about what others are thinking. Be yourself and push forward to your goals. And remember, someone says, oh, you're on another diet? No. I'm not on a diet. It's my lifestyle. It's the way I am. And that's my results now. That's what I'm saying. If somebody questions me and says, in fact, even my husband said the other day, oh, you're on a diet. That's right. No, I'm not. This is my lifestyle. I'm just more strict at times than I am on others. This is my lifestyle and it's just the way I am. And so you have to figure your balance and see where you are and everything. And it can be challenging when you're not both you have people in the household that are not on the same level or same track as you are. I'm really on making sure you eat what you're supposed to eat. Last night was, um, oh, I made meatballs and sugar-free, this sugar-free sauce stuff is where I put them in the slow cooker after cooking them. Extra lean meat. So for that. But then I made quinoa for, and I only put so much quinoa in my dish, just what I was supposed to have. So I made quinoa with mine. My husband had mac and cheese with extra fontaine cheese in it. Did not touch it. So that's where you have to find. Do you want it? Do you not want it? You know what I mean? Where are you at with it and everything? Now, I did not get enough water in yesterday, so today I'm filling it. So I've got the jug. It has a, um, I didn't make the water ahead of time like I did before. So when I got here, I filled up the jug because I forgot it here too. Oops. I put basil and mint leaves in it. And then I actually put a tea bag of dandelion, dandelion, dandelion root tea in it. So that's gonna sit here for a little bit. I'm actually gonna fill this up and get a regular cup of water. And I have my pure lemon juice. I'm gonna add lemon juice to it too. And I'll add lemon juice to that when I'm pouring it in here too. But lemon for that, so just kind of that and make sure I'm getting in. This is 64 ounces. This is 30 ounces. I've had 24 ounces already today, so if I could do that combination, I'm right on track. So that's where I'm going to be with, and I've got my shake 
here. I forgot to put fiber in it. I normally put fiber in my shakes and I forgot today. So I have to live with that one. That would be, oops, this would be a silly. But today is also a carb day. And so I have some Ezekiel English muffins. I will have half of one, this one, half of one of those um, along with my shake for breakfast this morning. I'm going to be, I'm going to try to actually get in more of the carbs. Last week I didn't have as much of the carbs as I should have been having because I get really busy and I just kind of, but you do need, your body needs the carbs, but the smart complex carbs, not junk. It needs the fats and everything. It needs everything it's got to have. I like to do rotations, not every day, but most of the time where it's like today's a carb day. Tomorrow might be, I think tomorrow's probably carb day too, and then Wednesday will be a fat day or something like that. I just kind of figure it out. But I made the mahi mahi fish to put on my salad today for lunch. And I have celery in there. I have, I have a grapefruit, but I'm not going to have it today. And I have some carrots in there. And dinner tonight is going to be stir fry shrimp. So shrimp and veggie stir fry for dinner tonight. I'm, I have the quinoa. I meant to bring some with me, but I have the quinoa, so I'll probably have a little bit over the quinoa, a little bit of quinoa for it, and then my husband can have it over white rice, like he wants it. So you have to make your choices. Remember, we're not on a diet. It's our way of life. It's our meal plan. It's what we do. We are not going to let the fear of what others think derail us. We're going to stay on track. We're going to do what we feel like we want to do, and we're going to make it count and have fun doing it. 